Wasn't that know, secret? She, <laughs> she told me that she had a very special day planned for me. It was Friday and she picked me up from school. And we went to IHOP and we tried those apple fritter ice cream thingies, whatever, those delicious, you know. And we took the bus and we went to Mesa Amphitheater. And we went to see me in sync. <laughs> and she bought me a little picture <laughs> and a glow stick. How could you and I remember, <laughs> like, I got out and I was screaming, Justin, I love you! Oh my god, I remember saying that. I remember saying that. And I was just going all types of crazy, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I remember looking at my mom and all the struggles we had growing up because she did have an addiction and she did have some issues, but she was a good person. <laughs> And that was the first time in my life that I had seen that she was finally successful and happy and we had good memories and it's just special to me so I thought I'd share it. But I just want to say thank you everybody for coming and I appreciate all the memories and all these people that love her and thank you and I love you mommy. Matthew. Uh, let's see if I can get through this. Uh, Renee and I always didn't always get along. We butted heads on tons of stuff. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Not everything. We both agreed that he yeah, was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> but I always knew no matter what was going on, Renee was going to be there for me. Didn't matter if we had fought one day about whatever stupid yeah. stuff we fought about. I always knew that if I needed somebody, Renee was going to be the first person to help. It wasn't always monetary. It wasn't always, you know, being over here. It was, it, it, if I needed somebody to talk to, Renee was somebody I could talk to about anything. And it didn't get out. I wasn't around Renee for a large part of my life living here. But when I was a kid, I have plenty of memories of being little and getting to spend time with her and Destiny and Aunt. That was probably before Krista was even born. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to have bad problems with my legs hurting. And one of the first memories I have of being a kid was when Renee comforted me and was compassionate and made me feel better while I was hurting so bad. And most of, all of my good memories with Renee involve her being there for me and her being someone to comfort me in times of in bad times. Especially after my recent issues with marriage, Renee was the first person to really talk to me about it. She was your biggest cheerleader too, just like with me. Yeah, that's right. She, I'm going to miss her borders. more than she'll ever know. Love you, buddy. Love you too. I mean, all of you should too. Love, love you too. Gateway, but we do love you. <laughs> well, it's some of the love I have for you guys is slightly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ours too. <laughs> I couldn't end my mom's. <laughs> you know, and I think one of the main things is I think that Renee knew how we actually all felt. 